New products. First up, we have the metal bot, the metal bot, the printer bot metal. This is the printer bot metal plus, which we um, put back in stock. And this version now is a little bit more expensive, but comes with a heated bed. Yeah. A lot of people were using these and really needed a heated bed to use like materials like ABS and some other exotic materials. Um, so, you know, this version now comes with a heated bed and it has a power supply and it's it's lovely and it's it's one of the, it, it, you know, it's like a thousand dollars ish. It's really good value. You get a lot for your 3D printer yeah. dollar. We use every 3D printer and then we pick the ones we really liked and then we. This one is a really the, the best entry level. Yeah. I mean, other than just like building your own printer. Yeah. Box. Next up. Sally, uh, no, sorry. No, this is the no, Astro Pack. No, this is Astro Pack. Yeah, what this yeah. does is allow you to. Uh, Print over Wi-Fi with a yeah. Raspberry Pi to a 3D printer. So if you so have you, the thing is with these 3D printers is that they don't have a display or control panel. So this allows you to use a Raspberry Pi as like a remote 3D print controller, and it comes with the software. And so this is just a pack that you basically plug it all together, and it's pretty much ready to go. And then you can, as long as your 3D printer is controllable um, over. USB with a Raspberry Pi, and like almost all of them are, like it's yeah. kind of standardized. Then you can just use this and then use your tablet or phone or computer. And, and we you have can, a sticker. And you can also like <laughs> take photos, or you can connect a Raspberry Pi camera and you can do like time, time lapse and stuff. Okay, and then Sally uh, dropped off a bunch of stuff. This is great. Yay! This is the. What channel? Sally 8. Yes, yeah, the 8. This is the 8 Logic, not the 8 Pro. This is just yeah. 8 Logic. And so this is kind of their upgrade to the, lo the, the Sally Logic that they had before. Um, so this version has eight channels. It does digital and analog. It's a little more expensive because they added analog. It does like up to uh, 100 megahertz um, analog and like 100 megahertz digital or whatever. And like basically a bandwidth, I think, of like 50 megahertz for analog. I don't remember exactly the number. Check the tech specs because there's a lot of numbers in it. But um, basically eight channels. So it's just kind of like what I use on a day-to-day -day basis when I have to do logic analysis. And it now has analog, so you can even do like some mixed signal stuff. You can see how your power supply is doing when you're switching all your pins and all that good stuff. Um, so check it out. Uh, it's beautiful, and it's it, they've they've they're coming out with such a lo big line. They have the four channel, eight channel, and sixteen. But eight, I like eight. Eight's right in the middle. It gives you plenty okay. of channels. And, and here's some screenshots small. from like the software and like yeah, and they have multi. This. They have software that runs on um, Mac, Windows, and Linux. Yeah, and it's scriptable, and you can export the data. And there's like lo like you don't have to pay for like add-ons, which is kind of yeah. nice. Like it can do like logic um, analysis. Like it's like oh, if it's SPI, it'll actually tell you like what um, polarity and what the data is, and if it's like I squared C or, or serial, it'll, it'll decode like the baud rate and tell you what it is. So yeah. it's, it's really nice. And as far as logic analyzer go, I think they're the best. This is really yeah. the best. Okay, we showed the Pi Girl, and now we have a Pi Girl pack. Yes, so if you would like yeah. to build the Pi Girl, which uh, is this uh, last week's 3D Thursday, um, Pocket Pi Girl, you can get a pack which comes with everything but the 3D printed parts. So you need a 3D printer, and you need some filament, and you need some soldering irons and handles and stuff. But you get like a Model A Plus Raspberry Pi, and you get the display, and you get the buttons, and you get the cable, and you get like the Permaproto, and so you just need to have, have hand tools, and you can build uh, the two button or four button version of the Pi Girl. Okay, and now for the rest of new product segment, it's all phone all the time. So phone party. Is, besides, there's two stars of the show. It's it's so food and you tonight. But besides you two, this is the star. Of phone the show. shield. It's the phone shield. So this is an Arduino shield that can make phone calls. That's right. As we demonstrated earlier, yeah. uh, you know, I, I built, I used this to build the Arduino phone. It lets you basically do voice, text, data, like GPRS and stuff. Um, cellular on any Arduino. It's really easy to use. We have a really great library that makes it very simple. And we had a breakout version, but now people wanted to use it with an Arduino, so we kind of spun it into a nice Arduino shape, so it's like plug and play. You don't have to do any wiring or weird stuff. Yeah. Um, it also comes with battery charging ability, and it will charge via the Arduino, and then you can switch it into run mode and then run the Arduino off it as well. So like, for example, I'm charging my phone right now, and then I can oh, yeah. flip it over oh, yeah. to run. No, it's okay. okay. And then you know I can unplug it, and now it's it's in run mode, so it, the whole thing runs off of the same battery. It's just kind of handy because like most cellular projects, you want them to be wireless, so having the battery charger built in is like that's smart. So it's like a real phone that it can yeah. be it can be charging in charging, and, and then you can yeah. you can remove it. So it's got yeah. a lot going for it. Um, it's a cool. It is cool. Like phone, like yeah. you know, voice. Like, but you can also do SMS. You can also do data. Yeah. So we have like an example, I think, with Adafruit IO. I think. You know, people like go to bars and they take out their phone. They like put it on the thing. Yeah. I'm like, like yeah. I want to. Like, that's, that's what you put on. It's just like, hey. Well, this phone's great yeah. because it's like all I do, all I can do is call you because I don't have anybody else's phone number memorized. So you don't have to worry about just me. Just for like, texting. texting. Yeah, or to, I, like Facebook. 
Yeah. Unless you have to worry about it. Like, okay. you, you don't, this is the only phone that's open source, and so you, it's know, fully open source you know for a fact that you're, no one's messing with your phone. It's not one of the types of phones that, that can be turned on to listen. Yeah. No. If you're, like, mm -hmm. You know, depending on which, doing, which yeah. note in PowerPoint you're reading, ain't so fun having a phone right now. No, this phone, Depen there's depending. like no, there's no risk. I mean, like, you know, T-Mobile could like give your, your phone records up. That you can't do much because you have to make the phone call. But you don't have to worry about anybody like getting your phone. It's the most open source phone mal. possible. There's no malware possible on this phone. You cannot. It's not. It's not possible. Does it only work on T-Mobile? This is. Um, you need a 2G SIM. Any GSM network. GSM network, okay. but AT&T yeah. they're going to shut down their GSM network. So they network. say. So they say. So, so T-Mobile is it guaranteed? So if you go with okay. T-Mobile, like you can get AT&T GSM SIMs, but like we don't yeah. suggest it because in like three years it may mm -hmm. not work. Yeah, we'll see. Like. Remember, like, well, in three years, you just make a new one. Well, yeah, okay. we're, we're also coming out. That means really out. the long term. Yeah, we're also coming out with other uh, module versions. Yeah, we have a 3G yeah. version that we're going to okay. come out with. Okay, so it on top of that, 2G. you put together some packs. You have some Phona packs. Yeah, so if you want to get started with Phona, um, just because there's a lot of parts that you may want to get, we have, like, discounted packs. So you can get a Phona here, and you get a matching antenna that works with the Phona, and you get a good battery, a speaker, a microphone, a headset, if you want to use a headset, a little vibration motor. And um, some header, so you're and pretty you have much another, ready. And then there's another variation. This is the shield version. The shield version. So they all come with all the accessories that I think are the most fun because you want to like turn it into like a microphone speaker and vibration mode and a battery. Okay. So you still need to have a microcontroller like an Arduino, but other than that, you can just get started real fast. Okay. And then you, you got through it. I got yay. Thousand, thousand products. Good work, you.